Times Square there, which will serve as ABC's midterm election headquarters one week from today. This year's crop of political ads have been funny, moving, and just plain crazy. <laughs> yeah, even some have gone viral, boosting campaigns, and others have gone viral, but for all the wrong reasons. ABC's deputy political director, Shoshana Walsh, with all the hits and misses. I grew up castrating hogs on an Iowa farm, so when I get to Washington, I'll know how to cut pork. Washington's full of big spenders. Let's make them squeal. It's the most famous campaign ad this year, catapulting Iowa Senate candidate Joni Ernst from third to first in her primary and vaulting her to one of the most watched and talked about candidates this cycle. In one of the tightest races, she's locked in a fight with Congressman Bruce Braley in the battle for the Iowa Senate seat, a race that could determine control of the Senate. Pretty soon, you're going to want to do this to your TV. That's Dan I'm Sullivan running against Democratic Senator Mark Begich in Alaska. Candidates shooting guns popped up in ads all over the country, and from Democrats, too, including this one from Allison Lundergan Grimes in a fierce fight with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell in the Kentucky Senate race. And Mitch, that's not how you hold a gun. There are the ads that have gone viral, too, like this one from the conservative group Americans for Shared Prosperity. In 2008, I fell in love. His online profile made him seem so perfect. But by 2012, our relationship was in trouble. But I stuck with him because he promised he'd be better. He's great at promises. Yes, the president as a bad boyfriend. It's gone over half a million views, but still got panned as sexist. But no ad has gone slam this cycle as this one from Wendy Davis, the Democratic candidate running for governor in Texas. Her opponent, Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott, was paralyzed in a freak accident in 1984 and confined to a wheelchair since. A tree fell on Greg Abbott. He sued and got millions. Since then, he spent his career working against other victims. Critics on both sides of the aisle slam the spot as desperate or worse. Abbott himself has his own ad explaining how he adjusted to life after his accident. I had to rebuild my strength. I would roll up an eight-story parking garage, spending hours going up the ramps. Just one more, I tell myself, just one more. That is how I'll govern Texas. And those are the ads that made a mark like no other this cycle, for better or worse. In just one week, we'll see how much they helped or hurt. All right, like you mm. said, a lot of guns featured in some of these ads. <laughs> but uh, all eyes on the Senate. Republicans mm. taking it? This is a done deal? It's not a done deal, yeah. but they definitely have an edge. Our friends over at 538 have it as of today that the Republicans have a 64% chance of taking the Senate. But it's not a done deal. There are several races that are absolutely deadlocked and that will be critical for the Republicans to take the Senate or for the Democrats to keep it. And is it true that we might not know the final results on election night? Believe it or not, we absolutely may not know next week because at least two critical states, Louisiana and Georgia, may go to runoff. Georgia's isn't wow. even until January. And then in Alaska, they historically have a long, take a longer time to count votes, especially from those rural counties. So we may be sitting here a week from today not knowing. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you may not know in January. All right, ABC's Deputy Political Director, Shadow Walsh, thank you so much. Thank you.